Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today we are, I want to show you guys how I did my makeup my freshman year. Um, my freshman year was really rough for me because I had a lot of stuff going on that year. You know, bullying and everything. So, go away. Sorry, I was talking to the dog. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get right on into it. Sorry if this video is a little awkward because I'm at my dad's doing this and... There's probably going to be animals running throughout this video and such, so I'm sorry about all that. So we can just get right on to the video. So, I used to get into my sister's eyeliner, and I actually started really liking this eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner that I always started using. So, what I did my freshman year was I just lined my eyes. I think it wasn't until my freshman year I started doing my top and bottom waterlines. I mean alright ooh and then I typically used to wear like really really thick um foundation and that would be my mom's foundation and I never really wore primer, but just for this video, just because I get really dry skin, I am going to use primer just for my skin, because if I'm going to go all day wearing this makeup, I don't want it to look all nasty all day. So, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. poreless primer. I started using this, and I fell in love. Like, just the, the frosted glass packaging and everything else. I love it. It feels so good going on. It has like a weird scent to it, but it's not like weird as in it's like gross weird. It just smells amazing. And the other thing I'm going to use that I didn't use back then was is, um, my finishing spray. Alright, so since we're going to let this set for a second. And because my infallible is too thin and I do not have the proper primer for my stay mat so I can't really use that either and yes I know the cat is up on the thing back there I figured for my thick foundation I'm going to use my photo focus by wet and wild and it's in this in the shade soft beige and you can just go right and go in with that And then I would just blend it in with my fingers. Going around the lip area. I didn't start oh, doing my lip area until like recently. That's actually something I kind of picked up when I was what, when I started getting obsessed with Jeffree Star's makeup tutorials and all those videos. That. Let's try to get like a new position over here because I keep falling backwards. 
Okay. And then, I didn't have under eye concealer or anything like that. So, after I would do, do that, I moved on and I went in with black eyeshadow and my brush that looked like this. My black eyeshadow is coming out of the set that I gave to my little sister. It's a BR makeup kit. I gave it to her because I was tired of using it and I just never really used it. So, and I did it with a wet brush. So we can just go ahead and spray that. Alright. And we can just go in with the blackest black. from the freaking black okay. for me I really think black is like the worst color for me to work with to be honest and I put that back in her room and then I used to use a blush and it's going to be similar to the one I used was a cheaper one because growing up I wasn't very rich and I did this blush very lightly so I would take my mom's big what is this the techniques the real techniques brush I don't know what the name of it is but this big fluffy brush but now for a for my blush I use my Sephora collection the flat top brush these are the double ended gold like fake gold crusted ones but I would take some of her blush and just put it right up over my cheeks just basically anywhere As a freshman, you know, I didn't know what I was doing with makeup. So there's that. I think the only real luxury brand that I actually used was probably my lipstick or the luxury brand. Because I used to wear, when I first got it, I wore it all the time. You come here. My Meet Matte Hughes in the shade... Devoted, which is this nice bright red classic red color But before I forget to finish off my eyes, I don't really remember the mascara I used Abel no Take it down. So I'm just gonna like do something similar Which is my covergirl star wars the force awaken lines the super sizer And this is the brush of it. Let me show you. It's small, so I can get to my roots, you know? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do like three swipes of that. And do like two on the bottom. Three on the top, two on the bottom. There's that. We're getting really emo. Yeah. Alright. Um, and then I would first go in with a chapstick for my lips. Just because, you know, like I said, I am known for my dry skin.
that. I'm going to give it a minute to dry. And while I give it to my, a, dry, a minute to dry, I'm going to tell you guys about my freshman year of high school. It was a very, very hard time for me. I, um... I was bullied basically every day. My middle school year, I transferred from Southside to Hillside, and I had to go to Central my freshman year. My year started off really well, but then I started getting involved with the wrong people. When I got involved with the wrong people, they started bullying me, teasing me, and what have you. And so I eventually got super depressed, and when I got super depressed, I started harming myself, etc. And so there was nights when I had actually almost killed myself, but I didn't because I had my best friend by my side to stop me from doing these things. And she's basically the reason I am four years clean of these things. I haven't done drugs. I haven't been continuously drinking. You know, I've been better since then. When I transferred to Memorial from Central is when things started getting better. Memorial, I can really be myself. No one's really, you know, no one really bugs each other. And I got involved in Latin Dance Club with Mr. Neptune. And I went in there and I remember learning how to dance and stuff like that. And I've always loved dancing. And then I continued to do it every year. And now last year and this year, I am actually in charge of the Latin Dance Club. I put together all of our performances for the school. And honestly, I am so happy with where I am right now in my life. Like, things are rough right now, but nothing will ever be compared to what I went through. I've come up from what I went through. I'm still coming up from what I went through. I have days where it's hard for me to not relapse into doing these things, but... I I get through it. Throughout the last three years three years of high school, I have lost three people important to me. Well, one one was a dog, but still. First it was Buddy, my meme's little Chihuahua. Me and him we were like inseparable whenever I was around him. He would always go and cuddle me when I would like lay in my meme's bed. If I was sick he'd stay around me. I taught him how to sit. We used to play with him and his little burger and stuff all the time. And then, about a month later, I lost my grandfather due to kidney failure. He was in ICU for about a week, and I went to see him the day he passed. And that was, and that was the last time I saw him, and the last thing I ever told him was that I loved him. And then later that night, he passed. And then... About a year ago, I lost someone who I was super close with. I called him my big brother. He was a co-worker of mine. I lost him to a heroin overdose, and I promised him I would never do anything ever again. And that was something that's really hard for me, and it still is really hard for me to get over losing him. Like, I still can't even give you guys the full story about what happened that day because... I will literally start crying and I don't feel like crying today so I will save that story for another day but yeah so that's basically this video um I'll have another one up soon I promise um love you guys have a great day